billions of years later, meteorite fragments that survived the initial impact offer a glimpse into the earliest moments of a planet's formation. This is rather a special meteorite. It fell in Mexico in uh, 1969, and it's, it's called a Lende. We, we give meteorites names. And what's special about this meteorite is it's perhaps the oldest material on Earth. So it's around four and a half billion years old. So that right there is the oldest thing on Earth. Yeah. Wow. Can't hold it. Uh, no. OK. But you, you can touch it if you like. Just touch the oldest thing on Earth. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wow. It is kind of a goosebump moment because of the significance of a little piece of rock that, well, frankly, Dad walked straight past. Well, my, well most people probably would, but um, they're, although they're quite rare, you can find them everywhere. They, they fall all over the world, but not, not always quite as spectacularly as here. Yeah, you'd notice that. You'd, you'd certainly notice. But to imagine that some of us are, are walking past lumps of rock that contain all the elements you need to build a planet. You know, you've got the magnesium and the silicon and the iron and the oxygen. It's just incredible that this is how we started. And they're, they're just scattered all over the world. If you or I were to find an actual meteorite, and who knows, we might. It's, I don't know, almost a haunting thought to consider that what you had in your hand might be four and a half billion years old and one of the fundamental building blocks of our planet, our world, of our existence. But the meteorite that you found might not have landed billions of years ago, might have landed the day before you found it. And that's quite exciting. They're still arriving. The process is still going on. It's just that they're late gate crashes to some giant planetary party.